In this video, I'll teach you how to create this with your smartphone. guys you are welcome to this video where i will show you how you can simply create that product slideshow video using your smartphone all right so the application i am going to be using is called alight motion so you can download it on play store or on app store then you can go for the free trial they can give you seven days free trial and that's enough for you all right and you can subscribe to the pro plan so the first thing to do right here is to click on this plus icon here i'll tap on this plus icon then you can simply set some things right here like the aspect ratio the resolution the frame rate and the background all right so i want 16 ratio 9 and i also want a white background and it, it is already selected if it is not selected you can simply select it all right so once you do that you click on this create project so I'll tap on create project and immediately you do that this is what you are going to see as you can see our white background is already selected so the first thing I'll do here is to click on this plus icon and here is a place you can simply add a lot of layers to your video layers like shape your image or your video your audio object uh, text and a lot of things all right and the first thing I want to do is to click on my media so once I click on media, I am going to go to my pixel app section because that is where my background is. I'll tap on pixel app. Then I'll wait for it to appear. So you can simply download the background in the description of this video. I'll leave the link to download all the background. I have already designed the background. So I'll just start click here. Then you have to wait for it to appear. All right. It will just take a few seconds to appear and we are good to go so let's just wait for it to appear all right guys so here's our background as you can see and once i click on this background the next thing for me to do is to start adding my shapes all right so i'll click on this plus icon again like i said here's a place you can actually add all layers you need so i'll tap on shape as you can see i am in the shape section so i'll click on this circle shape because that's the shape i want to use then the first thing for me to do is to change the color so i'll just click on this color for me to change the color so i want to change the color to something red so i'll just click here then right here you can choose the color you want so i want something red for my video then i'll click on this mark icon at the top so i'll tap on it all right so once i'm done doing that the next thing for me to do is to increase the size of this shape and to position my shape so for you to do that it's very, very simple just click on this move and transform here is it move and transform then at this particular point here is a place you can simply position your text and you can simply increase or decrease the size of your of your shape rather not text of your shape all right so i'll just click here where the arrow is showing so here's a place you can simply increase the size of the shape or decrease the size of the shape all right so for you to increase the size just throw right as you can see i think this is okay for me so i'll click here for me to position my text then i'll position my text right here So the next thing for me to do now is to duplicate this particular shape all right so for you to duplicate just click here where the arrow is showing so i'll tap here then i'll click on duplicate layer so i'll duplicate this so right now we have two shapes all right we have the one with sac one and we have sac one copy as you can see in the written text so i'll tap on this sac one copy because here is the one we copied so I'll click on this move and transform. Like I said, here is a place you can simply position your shape. All right.
Alright guys, so I'm done with this and the next thing for me to do is to start adding my text. So I'll tap on this plus icon again, then I'll click on text. Alright, so the first text I want to add right now is get. Get. Then I'll just adjust this. Then the important things you need to do right here is to change the font of your text. This is absolutely very important, alright? So you click here where the arrow is showing. Then you click on this view all font. So I'll tap on view all font. So once I click on view all font, the next thing for you to do is to search for Montserrat because that is the font I want to use. So I'll search for Montserrat. Alright? Okay. So these are Montserrat's fonts. And I want to use Montserrat Extra Bold. So here is it. Montserrat Extra Bold. I think, uh, okay, this is nice. So you can also align your text. So where the arrow is showing, that is the place you can simply align your text. So I'll tap on it. Alright, as you can see, my text is now in the middle. Then I'll change the color of my text to black. So I'll change it to black. So once I do all this, I'll click on this mark icon here. Alright. And the next thing for me to do is to position my text and increase the size of the text. So like I said, here's the place you can simply position your text or increase the size of your text or any layer you added. So I'll tap on this move and transform. Then I'll position my text right now. I'll increase the size first. So I'll position it right now. Alright guys, so the next thing for me to do is to duplicate this text. I'll tap on it. Then I'll click here where the arrow is showing. Then I'll click on duplicate layer. So I'll duplicate it. Then we have two text right now. So I'll click on this get copy. Then I want to change the text right now. Alright. So I'll click on this edit text. So right now I can just write um, get 40% off. Alright. Then make sure you adjust it with your hand. So I'll click on mark, then I'll click on this move and transform to position my text. So I'll position it right now. So the next thing for me to do is to add my last text. So I'll click here, then I'll duplicate this. I'll click here where the arrow is showing for me to duplicate. So I'll tap on it, then I'll click on this duplicate layer. So once I do that, I'll tap on the text I duplicate. Then I'll click here, edit text, I'll tap on it. Then I'll change the, this text. So I'll write um, sale. Alright, and it is very, very important to change the fonts right now. So I'll click here where the arrow is showing. Then I'll click on view all fonts. So the font I want to use right now for the sale text is Oxford. Alright, Oxford. So uh, let me go for Oxford Boat. Alright, guys, just make sure that you adjust this. So let me click on mark. Then I'll click on this move and transform for me to increase the size of my text. So I'll click here where the arrow is showing. Then I will increase the size of my text. So it is time to position my text. I'll click here where the arrow is showing for me to position my text. So I want it to be here. Okay, I still need to increase the size of the cell. Alright, so let me position it here. That is get 40% off sale. Alright. So I think um, the text is too bold. So let me just change the font. I'll click on edit text. Then I'll click on view all fonts. 
so let me change the font to oxford uh maybe light or something okay so let me use oxford regular all right so this is nice so i'll click on mark icon here as you can see then make sure you position your text that's absolutely very important make sure you position your text all right guys so as you can see i have all my text and the next thing for me to do is to design my order now button so i'll click here the plus icon then i'll click on this shape i want to use a square now i'll click on this square shape then make sure you adjust it with your hand it depends on how uh the button you want if you want your button to be very big then you can go for that all right so i want my button to be very small as you can see here is it i'll just place it right here so let me even decrease the size because i want it to be very small all right guys and let me quickly go and copy the color code i use for my shape so i'll tap on one of my shape then i'll go to color so i'll copy this color code copy color code then i'll go back to my uh square shape where is it okay so let me just change the name of the layers let me change the name here okay so i can easily identify all my layers so let me change the name of the okay this is already branded rectangle one okay so this is nice so i'll tap on the shape i had it that is the square shape it is now a rectangle all right so right now I'll click on this color where the arrow is showing so i'll paste the color code right now I'll just tap an old here and I'll click on paste color code. All right, paste color code. So once you do that, the next thing for you to do is to add your text. So I'll click on this plus icon here, then I'll click on text. So the text I want to write right now is order now. All right, order now. So make sure you adjust your text. And the alignment also make sure everything is perfect and don't forget to change your font just click here and click on view all font so the font i want to use right now is montserrat light i want something light uh let me just go for montserrat medium all right so once i do that i will change the color to white then i'll position it where my shape is all right I'll position it right here then i'll make sure that i decrease the size until it fits in the button so you have to be very patient while you are working with allied motion all right guys i think okay let me go back and position it very well all right guys this is nice now and once you do this the next thing for us to do is to add our product image so i'll click on this plus icon here then i'll click on media now go to my eraser because that is where my product image is i'll go to my eraser so here's my eraser so i'll just wait for it to appear so right now i am going to pick my product image all right so I'll just search for it right here. All right, so here's my first product image. I'll tap on it. All right, as you can see. And right now, I am going to decrease the size and position it. So I'll tap on this move and transform. Then I'll decrease the size here. And I'll also position it. All right, guys. So this is nice. So one more thing. Let's change the font of our get text and 40% of text. All right. So I think the font is too bold. So let me just click on it. So here is the get. Then I'll click on edit text. So I want to change the font because the font is too bold. So I'll click here and I'll click on view all fonts. So I just search for Montserrat. All 
Alright, so I'll change the font to Montserrat Semi Bold. Here is it. Alright, guys, then I'll do the same to do the second text. That is the 40% off. I'll tap on it. Then I'll click on Edit Text. So I'll change the font to uh, Montserrat Semi Bold. Okay, guys, so I think this is nice now. Alright, so this is perfect. This is perfect. Alright guys, so once we are done designing our background, once we are done adding our product image, our button, the next thing for us to do is to add a keyframe and animate every one of our layer. Alright, so right now I am going to add a keyframe and I am also going to animate them. Alright, so let's first and group our button. So I want to group my button right now. That is the order now text and the rectangle shape. Here's the rectangle shape. And here's the order now text. Where is it? Okay, this is it. Order now. So I want to group them together. I want it to be just one. Alright. So for you to do that, just click here where the arrow is showing. Here's my order now. Just tap and hold on it where the arrow is showing. And the shape also tap on it. Then you click here to group where the arrow is showing. So here's the place you can simply group it. Alright, so I'll tap on it. As you can see, we have group 1. This is it, group 1. So the order now text and the shape, they are now together as one. Alright, as you can see, here's it. So the next thing for me to do, like I said, is to start adding keyframe and to start animating every one of our layer. So the first thing I want to animate is uh get so i'll click on this get because that's our effects test there so i'll click on this move and transform then at the first point at the starting point that's at 0, 0.00 seconds i am going to add a keyframe so here is a place you can simply add a keyframe where the arrow is showing the plus icon here so i'll add a keyframe at the first point all right that's the starting point 0, 0.00 seconds then i'll move a little bit to one seconds and i will add another keyframe i'll add it so once i do that i'm going to go back to the first keyframe i added at the starting point all right so here's the first keyframe i added then what i want to do right here is to make this text to be coming from here i want it to be coming from down just adjust it like i said there's a place can simply adjust it just adjust it all right guys then once i do that i want to add a cough i want to add a cough that will make my animation to look more perfect so for you to add a cough click here where the arrow is showing then i'll click here then i'll adjust the cough like this as you can see so once I added the cough, I will copy the cough, copy cough. So um, we are done with the get text. The next thing we need to do is the sale. Okay, here's the sale. Okay, uh, forty percent off. That's our second text. So I also do the same thing to it. I'll click on move and transform. Then I'll add a keyframe at the starting point. Then at exactly one seconds, I will add another keyframe to it. So I'll add the keyframe here. Then at the first point, I want it to be coming from here. So I'll click on this curve where the arrow is showing, as you can see. So right now, I'll just paste the curve I copied. So I'll tap here where the arrow is showing. Then I'll click on paste curve. All right paste cough all right so let's move to our, to our next text that's a sale so i'll tap on this sale text then i'll do the same thing to it i'll click on move and transform i've had my first keyframe at the starting point then at exactly one seconds i will add another keyframe to it then at the starting point where i i had my first keyframe i want it to be coming from down
Then don't forget to add our cuff. I'll click here where the arrow is showing and I'll paste the cuff. Paste cuff. Alright. So I'll also do the same thing to uh, the group. Here is the group. I'll click on move and transform. At the starting point, I will add a keyframe. Then at exactly 1.0 seconds, I will add a keyframe. Like, like I said, here is a place you can simply add a keyframe where the arrow is showing. So I'll add a keyframe. Then at the starting point, I'll go back there. I want it to be coming from here. Make sure you are following the red line. That's absolutely very important. Then don't forget to add our cough. I'll click here. Then I'll paste the cough. Paste cough. Alright. So uh, I'll do the same thing to our circle shape. I'll tap on the first circle shape. Move and transform. I will add a keyframe. Then I will go to one seconds and add another keyframe. Alright. Add a keyframe. Then at the starting point, I want it to be coming from here. As you can see, make sure you are following the red line. That's absolutely very important. Alright, you must be very patient, like I said, when you are working with Allied Motion. So, this particular one, I'll click on this curve where the arrow is showing and I'll paste the curve. Alright. So I don't want to cough here. No, 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 no. Let me undo. So I'll paste the cough at the middle. All right. So anytime you are adding a cough, make sure it is in the middle of the two keyframe you added. All right. Make sure you are adding the cough in the middle of the two keyframe you added. All right. So um, let's do the same thing to the second shape. So here's the second shape. Like I said, we are going to add a keyframe at the starting point. I'll add a keyframe here. Then at exactly one seconds, I'm going to add another keyframe. Then the first keyframe I added, I will go there. I want this to be coming from here. Then don't forget to add our cuff at the middle of the two keyframe. All right. Then I'll tap on the cough section. Then I'll paste the cough. Paste cough. All right, guys. So the last thing we need to animate is our product image. We haven't done that. So I'll tap on my product image. Then I'll click on move and transform. And I'll add a keyframe to it at the beginning. Then at exactly one seconds, I will add another keyframe. All right. I'll add a keyframe. Then I'll go back to the starting point. I want it to be starting to be coming from here. This is very, very simple if you follow me. All right. Then don't forget to add our cough. So I'll click here and I'll paste the cough. All right, guys. So the last thing we need to do here is to add uh, a fading animation to our background. Here's the background I added. Don't forget. Here is the background. So I'll click on effects where the arrow is showing. So I'll click on add effects. So right now, just search for fade in, fade in, fade in, fade in. So I'll tap on it. Then you click on this standard setting. All right. So immediately you do that, the fading, uh, animation will have added so i want the out animation to be one second just adjust it it depends on you so this is nice so let's play this video and let's see how it looks all right guys so we haven't done with our video yet as you can see this is not that perfect yet so the thing we need to do right now is to adjust every one of our layer for us for it to be perfect all right because I want the animation to be very, very perfect. So I don't want this 40% of text. I don't want it to be starting from the starting point. Just click on it. Then I want it to, to start from 0.1 seconds. Just adjust it with your hand, as you can see. Then the next thing is the sale text. I want it to start from uh, 0.6 seconds. All right. 
so just adjust it with your hand and place it here then the next thing is the the button the particular group this one right here this button i want it to start from 0.12 seconds all right make sure you adjust it all right so let's see this all right guys as you can see this is absolutely perfect let's play it one more time all right all right all right as you can see all right so the animation is now smooth as you can see by yourself it is absolutely very nice i mean this is amazing this is amazing <laughs> all right so um the next thing for us to do is to trim out some things right here so at exactly 4.23 seconds 4.23 seconds 4.23 seconds i want to trim out all the layers so i don't want to trim out everything one by one so the only thing for you to do is to tap and hold where the arrow is showing tap and hold on every layer you want to trim out as you can see here is at exactly 4.23 seconds and click here where the arrow is showing to trim out all right as you can see this is absolutely nice so uh let's see let's see all right all right all right so the last thing we need to do right here is to add our keyframe to the end of the layers all right so at exactly three seconds three seconds i will add a keyframe to every one of the layer so let me click on the our first layer our product image then i'll click on move and transform so i'll add a keyframe to it i'll click here where the arrow is showing to add a keyframe that's at 30 seconds all right then at 30.05 seconds i'll add on another keyframe so i'll tap on the keyframe so everything i'm saying you might just write it down so you won't forget when you are creating your own video all right so i'll do the same thing to the second uh layer so at 30 seconds i will add a keyframe all right then at 3.05 seconds i will add another keyframe so i'm going to do the same thing to the next layer so i'll tap on it at 3 seconds add a keyframe at 3.05 seconds add another keyframe then i'll move to the next layer all right just do the same thing to every one of the layer All right, so um, at 3.05 seconds, I'll add another keyframe. Then I'll move to the next layer. I'll do the same thing. The only layer I will not add a keyframe to is our background. I'm not going to add anything to that. All right, guys, so we are done adding a keyframe to our layers. All right, so the only thing you won't add a keyframe to is your background. This background I added at the beginning of this video. All right, so the next thing for us to do right now is to add another keyframe. All right, so um, my product image, I will add another keyframe at exactly 4.21 seconds. So the link to download all this product image is in the description of this video all right so at 4.21 seconds 4.21 i want to add a keyframe to my product image i'll add a keyframe to it then at this particular point i want my product image to be going out that's like an out animation to it make sure you are following the red line then don't forget to add our curve so right now we are not using the curve we used then i'm going to be using another curve and the curve i will be using is this where the arrow is showing then i'll adjust the curve like this 
then i'll click here where the arrow is showing and i'll copy the cuff so i can simply add it to any other layer all right so we are done with this all right so um the next thing is our uh get yes this is particular get our get text here is it so at exactly 4.05 seconds 4.05 seconds i will add a keyframe to it then i want this to be going out like i said you can just find the paper and viral and write all these all these points i'm seeing all right so i'll just uh i'll go to in the middle of the two keyframe then i'll click on this curve and i'll paste the curve paste curve all right so our next text is 40 percent off so here is it 40 percent off so at this particular point at exactly 4.08 seconds 4.08 seconds i'll add a keyframe and i want it to be going out just position with your hand i want it to be going out like this all right then i'll paste the cuff i'll paste the cuff paste cuff all right guys then the next thing is our sale text this is it so at exactly 4.15 seconds 4.15 I will add a keyframe. Okay. I will add a keyframe to it. And I want it to be going out. Then I will add our cough. I will paste the cough. So the last thing is our, uh, I think our button and our shape. Alright. Then this button right here. I will tap on it. Okay, this is now our button. Here's our button. Then this button right here at exactly 4.21. 4.21. I want it to be going out. So I'll add a keyframe. And I will position it like this. Alright. So don't forget to add our cuff. I'll paste the cuff, paste cuff. Alright. So the next thing to do is our shape. We haven't done anything to our shape. So I'll click on the shape. At exactly 4.21, I'll add a keyframe. And I want the shape to be going out also. And I will also uh I will go to the cuff section and paste the cuff, paste cuff. Then the second shape, I'll do the same thing to it. At 4.21, I'll add a keyframe and I want it to be going out. Alright, then I'll paste the cuff. Alright, guys, we are done adding our. Uh, our keyframe and we are done animating every one of them so let's play this video from the beginning and let's see how it looks all right so let me play it right now all right guys as you can see the art animation is very perfect just look just look from here as you can see how it goes out all right all right all right so let me play it one more time. It is somehow blow, just manage it. All right, so this is perfect, and this is like exactly like the video I created, as you can see. This is like the video I created. All right, like I said, it's very, very simple. You just follow my step, and you definitely get it. If you don't get it at the beginning, you are going to watch just watch the video again, and you'll get it. All right, so if you want me to do a video on introduction to our light motion kindly comment below and i will do an introduction video like maybe 30 seconds 30 minutes rather or one hour video that explains everything about our light motion so if you want me to do that just comment below and i will do an introduction video to our light motion 
so you can understand more about the application all right so like i said i am done doing this so one thing about allies motion is that if you want to add another product image let's say i want to add another product image you don't need to go to the stress again all right you don't need to go to this stress again and be adding it one by one and all of that the only thing you need to do right now let's say i want to add another product image right now the only thing i need to do is to group all of this for you to group just tap on every one of them where the arrow is showing tap and hold on it and tap on all the layers then you click here where the arrow is showing and you group all right as you can see right now let's play this as you can see right now we have all our layers as just one group all right and the next thing for you to do right now is to save this as elements if you want to add another product image if you want to add another product image just save this as element so i'll tap on it then i'll click here where the arrow is showing then i'll click on save to my element save to my element so i'll click that save to my element as you can see save to my element so for me to add another product image now just listen to me for me to add another product image now i need to um at this particular point i'll click on this plus icon here and i'll click on element like i said i have already saved the element the only thing i need to do right now is to input the element i saved so i'll just tap on it and as you can see here's the element i save so once i tap on it then you click on this element properties where the arrow is showing element properties i'll tap on it then you click on this edit original elements so i'll click on it so right now the only thing you need to do here is to change the product image if you want to add another product image just uh i'll just delete this or you can just hide it if you don't want to delete it you can hide it then you click on this plus icon here then i'll go to my media let's say i want to add another product image so i'll, I'll just add something to it so let me just um click here all right so i can see all my product image here. so let's say i want to add another product image to it let me just click this and i'll click on this plus icon to add it all right so just position this product image i'll teach you how to position and all of that i'll position it here and i'll decrease the size all right guys so once i do this the next thing for me to do is to delete my background i'll delete this then i'll add another background to it i'll go to my pixel lab i'll add a background with the particular color of the product image so that's what i want to do pixel lab then i'll add the background here's the background so i'll just uh I'll tap and hold on the background and I'll place it right here so it won't cover all my layers all right so the next thing for me to do is just to change the color of the shape I had it all right here's the shape just tap on it and go to color then you can add a color that fits in the product image I think this fits in then you can just adjust your color and all of that so I think this is nice This is too bold. All right, guys. Then let me just copy this color code. Copy color code. Then I'll paste it to the second circle shape. This is the second circle shape, and I'll click on color. Then I'll paste the color code here. All right. So this is not the exact color. I just use this as an example. Then this my button here the color is still red i'll tap on it then i'll click on edit group then i'll tap on the rectangle shape and i'll paste the color code 
so i'm going to go out of here i'll click back all right as you can see now here is it and don't forget to actually do the same thing you did to the first product image just add animation to it and all and all of that so i'll tap on the first product image i'll click on move and transform i'll add a keyframe to it at 0.0, .0 seconds then at exactly one seconds i'll add another keyframe then at this one seconds i want at this 0, 0.0 .0 seconds i want it to be coming from here it is very very simple just the same thing we did then all right then don't forget to add your cough all right as you can see we have the same thing as the first product image so let's play this as you can see that's that's absolutely nice so i'm going to do the same thing here at three seconds i'll add a keyframe to it and at 3.05 seconds i'll add another keyframe then i'll go to 4.21 4 4.21 i'll add a keyframe to it so at this particular point i want it to be going out all right then i want to add a curve to it i'll click here where the arrow is showing then i'll add this particular curve Alright guys, then don't forget to trim the product image you just added. So at this particular point, at 4.23, I'll trim it. For you to trim, just tap on it. Tap on it. Then you click here where the arrow is showing to trim. Alright. Then our background also, I'll do the same thing. I'll trim. Then don't forget to add the particular effect I added to our background. I'll tap on the background. I'll click on effects, add effects, then I'll add the fade in and fade out effects. Alright, so that's all, that's all. Alright guys, so let's play this video. As you can see, so you don't need to start from the beginning again. You don't need to start from the beginning. So once you are done doing this, you go back, just click back. I'll go back now and this particular one will have been changed as you can see i have two different things right here all right so this is very very simple to do if you don't understand this video like i said make sure you watch this video again to understand it is absolutely very simple so let me play our video from the beginning all right all right all right so this is nice this is nice this is nice so for you to save your video right now, just click here where the arrow is showing. Then you can export your video here. Alright. So I'll click on export. So once you click on export, just wait for you to load. As you can see, it is loading. Alright guys, so here's our video. So it's a finally export. So let me just play it one more time. Alright, alright. All right, so this is absolutely nice. This is absolutely nice. And don't forget to save it to your gallery. Just click on this save and save it to your gallery. All right. And this is the end of this video tutorial. Also, I have a complete video editing course for smartphone. So if you want to learn how to create videos that are more professional than this, then you should register for the course. Just click on the link in the description of this video to register for the course. All right. So the course is fully loaded you learn how to create different kind of videos all right so guys i will see you in my next video tutorial